something I forgot to mention when we had done all the electronics up at the top was uh, filing the points. Basically, just I ran 800 grit sandpaper in between the, the two points right there. Pull it apart with my finger like that and just ran some 800 grit. Some people say use a dollar bill. Some people use uh, paper towel, terry cloth kind of stuff. I just use 800 grit. Um, but then I'll go ahead and put it back on and uh, hopefully we'll be able to, to start. So something interesting that I'm finding, uh, it has power or it has voltage on the negative side. So you see right here, it's got six volts. When I put it to ground and ground, it's got about two. So that's probably part of our problem right now. So we gotta make a better ground for the battery. So I've taken this uh, extra piece of wire and I've created another ground. So you can see right here, is when we touch that, a little bit of filament lights up on the test light. But when we put the extra ground on, it doesn't anymore. So we're gonna go ahead and bolt that all up and see what happens. So now that we've done all of the electrics inside, um, we still couldn't get it to, to fire. So I pulled it out, put it back on, pulled it out, put it back on. I couldn't figure out what it was. And I watched the video where it talked about starting from the end instead of starting from the beginning. So what we found out was there was power going to this wire, um, but the person who owned the bike before me, when I got the bike, the, the cover wasn't all the way on. Um, and I realized is what they had gone in here and done is they had taken apart the point arm right here and they didn't put the, uh, one of the um, non-conductive washers in between. So what was happening is this wire was actually grounding out on the body before it had a chance to go to the arm. Uh, so it was always constantly grounding. So a 68 cent washer from Lowe's, a nylon washer, put it in right there and it uh, will run just fine. We'll go ahead and show you uh, starting it here in just a minute. All right, now that we've got all of the, the stuff taken care of, we're gonna go ahead and start it. I've already started it once just to, to verify a few things, but we'll show you it basically starts on one kick now. So it's basically ready to go. So the only next step before I even get to write it is uh, tires and a chain. I'm also gonna um, show you here in a second the sprocket's too big. I'm gonna switch that to a smaller sprocket. But really I just need chain and tires and then we'll uh, um, be able to give it a first shot for a ride. Something else that I added was a real authentic Japanese license plate. Um, if you're from Japan, you'll realize that this plate is just a little off. It's for a 50 cc and below. Um, it would be completely square and a little bigger if it was for a, this correct size, but I still think it's pretty cool. <laughs> 